Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be talking about how I stay organized using Notion. In this video, I'll share some of the templates that I have found to be very helpful for me, but not all of them are owned by me. So I will be linking the creator as well as the link to the Notion page for you guys. So if you would like to use them, then make sure to go and support the creator. And now I hope you guys like this video and let's keep on watching. So the first page that I have is called life and this is pretty much my life in a aesthetic and beautiful organized page um, but I do want to say that this is not my template and I did got it online so I will be linking it down below for you guys if you do like it and make sure to support the creator of course. But the purpose of this video is just to show you guys how creative you can get given the resources that Notion provides. So to be honest, I was really unaware of Notion for a long time, a long, long time. Um, and now that I know about Notion, I think it's such a great way to have that aesthetic Pinterest-esque look, but also stay on top of your game and stay organized. So moving along the middle, we have these little cards, almost look like canvas dashboards, if you know what I mean. Um, and they are just there for me to know what I want to focus on. So for this one, it's a study page, but then we also have fitness and skincare and manifesting and crystal and vibes. Now these did came with the template, so some of them are just the ones that were in the template and I did not got time to customize it yet, but I will be doing that um later so yeah but if you guys want to see like an end of the year notion page that will be really really fun so just leave them in the comment down below all right moving down we have a personal um little subsection on the side and over here it's just pretty much everything to do with school and as much as i hate school uh it's really aesthetic to look at so yeah i think this is one of the reasons i actually like to study and i don't know it's just if you have an aesthetic page you're gonna just want to study more so over here we have a everyday um little calendar and then we also have important dates at the bottom so that's really really nice and again it's super aesthetic and super col colorful so if that's your vibe then i definitely recommend downloading this template because it's super cute now we also have a meal planner page and the template also came with this page so that was really really handy for me because i do try to tell myself to take lunch from home because school lines are really long and the food is not that great so you know might as well have some healthy food all right so then we also have again the same dashboard thingies in the middle with the unit one unit two and unit three and the pictures were super cute so i did not want to take them out and then we have a cute little pictures on the side and then moving down below we have a october goals page now my goal is just to be more productive be more positive and just overall have a good mentality and mindset for this year and then i also have a watch list with squid game because why not um this is the only one though that i customized everything else came with the template but squid game is just just really good so i had to put it down there all right that's it for this template now moving along so this is another template that i found online and this is a little bit more complicated and a little bit more complex so if you want to step up your game or if you already have notion and want to kind of make it more efficient then i definitely believe that this is a good template for you to step up your notion game all right so let's get started shall we so the first thing that i have on here is inbox and again this template did came with a lot of these um options so it also came with the inbox and i think that this is such a nice place for me to put all my important stuff then we have a calendar so the calendar is of course for any important things coming up and i like to put stuff that might interfere with this class since this is my governments and politics class next thing i have is the whiteboard now the whiteboard is for just to write down anything um, any quick notes that might come up or anything that our teacher might tell us that as we're walking out the door next thing is a bookmark page now this is of course to add any um, websites or URLs because we do tend to read a lot of articles. 
next section is classwork so as you guessed it it is a lot of to do work so my class has a lot of homework that we are assigned whether it's reading or just homeworks and projects so i really like this to-do list and it just makes everything nicer for me next thing is projects so notion allows you to again make these dashboards or these small little cards and you can of course add pictures and just make them nice and then next thing I have is task. So uh, over here you can add anything you want to and then also have a drop down menu to just kind of put the status of how far you're into it. So the next thing we have is notes. And as you guessed it, notes is basically everything that we talk about during our lectures or just one on one session with the teacher. And this is actually a really helpful page because we have a lot of notes in a government class. Next thing I have is reading pages. We, we read a lot, almost 20 pages every night, sometimes even 30. So having um, a page where we can write everything down that we have read and just summarize it is really helpful for me. And then we also have another column with test. This is basically all the chapters and all the objectives that we have covered that I would like to just go over and look over before the test or even sometimes the actual AP exam that will be coming up soon. Now the next thing is status reports and status reports is basically how I've been doing in my classes and grades. Now I have not gotten the time to customize this yet but I definitely will do that after this. And then moving down, we have a cute little inspiration that says one day at a time. And then in the middle, I have tutoring for my classes and then conference period because my teacher does not like to interfere in the middle of their lectures and we always have to come back during their conference time. And then I also have an importance page on the side and then all the chapters that I have read and we have gone over. Now on the other side is the to-do list that I've showed you guys before. And then on the bottom, I have AP test or AP practice test and then mini projects. So this is just an overview of everything that I already have in my notions page. And then on the side, I have grades, tasks, and then my scratch space. And also some drop downs for pages such as meeting, notes, reminders, and stuff like that. Now moving on to the last but not the least example. This is a very simple and effective Notion page that I have created. This was also one of my first Notion page that I created and I'm actually really proud of it because Notion can be very very hard and it is very complex and time consuming. So this is just a simple page that I created for myself when I was first starting out. Now, I will keep the talking to a minimum since I've talked quite a lot in this video. So, as you can just see, this is my college page that have everything college-like. And I'll just be showing you guys a quick little scroll through of what it is since this is very, very simple than the template before. And I don't need to talk a lot about this. to all my other subsections and sub pages and I named it school and then if you go down I created a to-do list so this is pretty much the most easiest thing that I could find for myself and I just put my assignments and then also if they were done or I'm still working on it and I think even to this day it works pretty effectively for me and if you are just starting out on notion I definitely recommend using this method Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found all these templates helpful and if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.